There's so many jobs in cybersecurity, so why is it so hard for people to get in? What we're gonna do is just uncover some of the reasons why this is the unfortunate case. What's going on guys? I'm Cyber Tom. I'm back for another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about why cybersecurity is so hot, but yet people are having a hard time getting in. I think really the biggest misconception in today's world is that cybersecurity is an entry level role. It's easy to think that because if you go onto any job posting, you'll see that it says entry level cybersecurity. So it's confusing people. Why is it saying entry level? But then there are people like me that's saying the field's not technically an entry level field because there's a difference. Cybersecurity, their entry level rolls into the field of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is not entry level into the world of IT, if that makes any sense to you. Cybersecurity is its own genre of its own in IT, and there are entry level positions to get into that position of cybersecurity. But most people come from an IT background and move up into one of those cybersecurity entry level rules. The problem is these descriptions aren't very accurate. What they should be noting is that this is not an entry level position in cybersecurity and that you must have a few years of experience in IT if that's what they desire. The question that also is stirred up from that topic is, should that be a thing? Are there gatekeepers that are trying to keep people out of cybersecurity because for whatever you know power structure or anything like that, that they are maybe even unconsciously wanting to see, that a lot of these people think that they're gatekeepers and, and that's understandable. Um, and you could debate forever if that is a thing or not. But what we should look at is cybersecurity, a role where somebody coming out of school can get right in. I say yes, absolutely. That's my journey. And I think that a lot of other people should have that same chance in cybersecurity. I think there needs to be a change in the way that um, the industry is done that allows for newcomers to come in fresh out of school that want to get into this field. Obviously, there's going to be things they need to learn along the way, and they're going to have to have some kind of background. I'm not saying that these people, you know, aren't engaging in any certifications that are going to help them uh, understand networking and troubleshooting and things like that because they should. But somebody with those credentials or certificates should be able to get into the field. That's my personal opinion. And I know a lot of others who share the same belief. You have to understand where the job posting is coming from. You can't automatically think just because it says entry level that it's for somebody right out of school. So you got to dig a little deeper. Now, if you're watching, you're like, okay, so what kind of roles are we talking about now that you think should be entry level in cybersecurity? Because obviously you want to take those roles and look for them and apply for them, right? So I think that somebody in a SOC, uh, entry level SOC analyst should be a good candidate for somebody that is brand new to the field and just wants to go right into cybersecurity. Yes, it's going to be a little daunting for them. And yes, there's gonna be a lot of work that they have to do and a lot of knowledge that they have to retain. But this is an environment in a SOC analyst role where there is a bunch of other senior analysts or other experienced analysts around you. This gives great opportunity for somebody who's willing to learn but hasn't learned yet to gain their knowledge in the field. I don't think somebody should just jump into a security engineer position. And I know a lot of people won't even want to hire somebody new for that kind of position. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is these kind of positions, like a SOC analyst, like a IT security specialist who's going to be doing a lot of troubleshooting, password resets, that kind of thing, it gets their foot in the door in cybersecurity. We need to open up roles like this. It's going to get more people into the field and prevent less hackers from infiltrating systems around the globe. The skill gap that we're seeing in the market, and you may hear of this a lot. The reason why there are so many jobs that need to be filled in security and so many students not able to get in is because of this skill gap. These people who want these positions filled want multiple years of experience. And that's just not something that you can provide as a new individual trying to get into IT. My recommendation is that you go searching for those positions that are a little bit lower first class that companies are starting to open up. IT security specialists, 
a junior SOC analyst, maybe even a junior pen tester. These are the roles that I think should be well in the range of somebody who wants to just jump right into cybersecurity. So that's the gap that we're seeing. So do not get frustrated. Just understand that the, there is such a overload of cybersecurity jobs not being filled because of the qualifications that these positions hold a lot of newcomers do not have. And real quick guys, this video is brought to you by Nord Pass. I've been using these guys for a while now and I've loved their product and I love their encryption and how secure their platform is. So I wanna show you a couple brief things that you can do with Nord Pass. It's a great password manager. A lot of people ask me, where's the best password manager? What do you use? Well, NordPass is at the top of the line. Everything that I'm about to show you about NordPass could be yours. Just go to nordpass.com slash cybertom and use the code cybertom. So with NordPass, you can easily autofill right from your browser, your login information for all your different passwords and your different needs. It'll simply do it for you by itself. It saves you a lot of time and it's a great feature. Not only is it great for your username and passwords, but how much of the time do you spend putting in your first name, last name, email address, home address into different sites when you're purchasing things? But you don't have to do that anymore because with NordPass, it does the same thing as the logins and the password. It'll fill all of it in for you. Did you ever have username and passwords and people want them and you guys share accounts and they're like, hey, can you send me over this stuff? With NordPass, it's as easy as going into your vault, clicking on your credentials, sharing it over to the person that you want to have those credentials. It'll store your credit card information so you can purchase things online without having to go fumble for your credit card. It will store any type of notes that you wanna record. All of this obviously being done encrypted to keep all of your information safe. So if you're looking for a password manager, I really recommend you go and try out NordPass. And again, if you are interested, go to nordpass.com slash cybertom and use the code cybertom. So how do you make yourself attractive to get into some of those roles that I was talking about that are really actually entry level? The first place you should start is your resume. That resume should be being updated all the time according to the newest set of skills, the newest projects that you're working on, and any certifications that you're gaining. You have to continue to keep this updated. You need to search for keywords that are being listed um, for job searches so that you pop up in those searches. The next thing you want to do, make sure that you're networking. Talk to people. You'll find out the jobs that are hosting these real entry-level security security positions and you'll get your foot in the door a lot quicker than somebody who is not making connections with other people in the field. You would be surprised about how often I hear people just not getting themselves engaged into the community. You have to understand that a relationship with people is going to get you further in life than just throwing your application out to job postings. The next thing that you want to do is to add some real life work into your resume. You could do this by going onto plenty of learning sites that are out there. You can build yourself a Kali Linux machine and a Windows machine and learn how to engage in different attacks from the Kali over to the Windows box. You can go on sites like Let's Defend.io, try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and do little projects on there. Put these things on your resume and that's gonna give you the experience Experience that you can present without having real life experience. Another way that you can make sure that you have the real life experience, get some certifications under your belt. A lot of these jobs, they're not looking for a lot of formal education. The ones that are looking for ent real entry level cybersecurity positions, like a junior SOC analyst, they're not really expecting you to have a lot of college under your belt. At this point in the game, they wanna see that you have some certification. So why don't you get yourself a certification or two and put that on your resume and see the wonders that it works for you. It shows them that industry leading certifications are something that are under your belt and that you have the knowledge to possess. Doing these things is going to make it so you can get a job 
and cybersecurity entry level. While the rest of people not doing these things are gonna sit back and continue to complain that there's a skill gap in the market and they can't find a job. That's not entirely true. There are plenty of companies that are starting to break the barriers and really present entry level jobs to people now. I hope this has really helped you understand how to get into cybersecurity when there are so many jobs, but it seems like you're just not getting it done. There's some steps you can take. There's some jobs that you can look for specifically. I'll go over them again. A junior SOC analyst, an IT security specialist, a junior pen tester. Look for these kinds of roles when you're doing your searches and see if you find one of these companies that are breaking this barrier and starting to really bring new people into cybersecurity, not just people that have had years of IT experience. Thanks for watching guys. I have a lot more content coming and um, I think you're really gonna love what I have worked up for you. So keep an eye out for that. Hold on, I'll show you a little glimpse. In a video coming up very soon, I'm gonna introduce to you guys something called a rubber ducky, a hacking USB device that can infiltrate a computer and run some commands in the background. It's an exciting, fun little tool. I'll show you a quick glimpse of it. And this is all it is here. We'll get more into that for the next time I see you guys. Thanks for watching. And like always, like and subscribe if you like the content.